have the shadow lamp posts. It's called a couple different things, but another popular related rates problem. So what we have going on in this one, a five foot man walks at a rate of two feet per second away from the street light. That's 18 feet above the ground. At what rate is the length of his shadow changing when he is six feet from the light? So I've already drawn a picture here. My street light is 18 feet tall. My man's five feet tall. So again, I'm given a rate, and this is the rate he's walking away from the light. So what I'm gonna do is I got a triangle here. I have two sides from that man. This side is going to be considered X, and the other side is going to be Y. So this is one of those rates, which one is it? Well, here's the street light and it's the rate he's walking away from the street light. So what they're giving me is dx dt. So they're giving me dx dt is two feet per second. Now, I wanna know at what rate his shadow is changing. Let's think about this. Here's the street light, it's shining, man. So when the light shines on him, he's gonna cast a shadow. So Y is representing his shadow. Sometimes problems will label it S instead of Y for shadow. So what I wanna find is dy dt. Now, the interesting part about this is we have similar triangles. If we look at the big outside triangle, and I also have this interior triangle, they are similar. Okay, all of their angles are gonna be equivalent, which means their side lengths are proportionate. So how I'm gonna finish this problem is I gotta solve a proportion. So if I look at the little triangle, I have five over y. And that is gonna be proportionate to, in terms of the big triangle, 18 over this side length, which is going to be represented by the sum of x and y, so x plus y. So here is my equation that's going to get me to the rate I want to find. So I have a proportion so I can cross multiply. So I have 18y equals 5 times x plus y. So I've got to multiply 5 by both of those variables. So it's going to be 5x plus 5y. I'm going to bring that 5y to the other side by subtracting. So I'm going to end up with 5x equals 13y. This is gonna be my equation. So now I'm gonna take the derivative of both sides. So that's gonna give me 13 dy dt equals five times dx dt. And we're about done. Because I wanna find dy dt and I know dx dt. So when I plug all of that in, dx dt is two. And again, it's positive too, because remember, he's walking away from the street light, which means this side length is gonna be increasing or growing, so that rate's positive. So what I have is 13 dy dt equals 10, and then just divide both sides by 13. So dy dt is just going to be 10 over 13, and the units on that are gonna be just like my units on my dx dt. So it's gonna be feet per second. Now, this was in part, in part of the problem, but sometimes they'll ask you an additional question. Sometimes they'll ask you at what rate is the tip of his shadow changing. The tip of his shadow is this part right here in the triangle. So sometimes they will ask you this part B question. At what rate is this point changing? Well, this point is represented by this whole side length. So basically what they want to know is what, at what rate is that whole side length changing? So that whole side length is x plus y. All right, and you know, you could call this whatever you want. You could call it L. Okay, so what we really want to find is dl dt at what rate this whole side length is changing. So I have my equation, I take the derivative, x just goes to dx dt, y will just go to dy dt, and l will go to dl dt. 
So the length, this tip is tip of the shadow is going to be changing. It's just going to be the sum of dx dt and dy dt. We know dx dt. We just found dy dt. We're just going to add those two numbers together. So we have 2 plus 10 over 13. And 2 can be converted to 26 over 13. So that rate is just going to be 36 over 13. 13, and the units will say the same, feet per second. And there you have it. Designated driver here to help you out with all of your math questions. If you thought this video was helpful today, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Any questions or suggestions you have for future problems, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.